Hey, welcome back everybody. Today's talk is gonna be about the best or most effective approach towards stabilizing your hair loss in 2020. Although it's 2020, the year when the original hair loss cure was finally supposed to be released, the hair cloning, all the overexcitement around the expensive exosome treatments, Replicel and Brizula hype coming closer and closer, we have to still stay sober and bet on hair loss treatments which have been proven for decades in order to maintain our hair loss today with treatments available today instead of losing our hair while hoping for future treatments to become our saviors who knows when. I'm going to be talking about finasteride, dutasteride, RU, uh, minoxidil, basically all the FDA but also non-FDA approved treatments for hair loss in this video. So make sure you stay tuned and let's just dive into the topic of today's video. What you want to do no matter what stage of hair loss you are at right now you start with the fda approved medication which means minoxidil two percent or five percent or finasteride one milligram and hold on hold on everybody who is gonna start talking about the side effects and the, the useless of all these products especially minoxidil i know many of you guys hate minoxidil it's actually something i do not recommend but i mean if you are an 18 or 17 year old guy with hair loss i mean minoxidil is at least something okay uh, if you are afraid of, mina of finasteride just start with minoxidil at least for the first year for 12 months and then re-evaluate it, okay ideally you start with the FDA approved medication for hair loss number one which is finasteride most prescribed medication for hair loss uh, most tested out medication by many guys out there already over the last 20 years 20 plus years so this is something you should be doing I'm doing topical finasteride okay because I'm more cautious about potential side effects so I'm starting with a softer version which is not not inhibiting the DHT uh, as much as the oral version despite of that topical finasteride can still be pretty efficacious as you can see here in this uh, oral topical finasteride compared you choose either you go on one milligram finasteride or minoxidil ideally five percent it's much more superior than the two percent version of minoxidil okay now what we do you or what you do here you do this for a year and then you reevaluate how it was working for you if they're working for you great if not you need something stronger either you're going from finasteride upgrading to dutasteride if you are having side effects on finasteride you are upgrading from finasteride onto topical finasteride or topical dutasteride if you are side of having side effects from minoxidil you are going to upgrade to ru588841 or ideally much better option topical finasteride okay it's going to block your dht it's going to be uh, topical also like minoxidil and better thing you're just going to have to apply it once a day not twice a day like minoxidil okay now on top of these topicals that you're going to be using microneedling or dermarolling uh, dermapen it's going to promote the absorptions of all the topicals make sure you uh, apply your topical uh, not earlier than 24 hours after the microneedling session okay very important I'm doing topical finasteride right now I'm on my fourth month let's see how it's gonna go if it's efficacious for me I'm gonna keep being at it no side effects I'm gonna keep using it if I just see that it was able to stop my hair loss efficiently I'm gonna stay uh, on that if not I'm gonna upgrade to topical dutasteride uh, or oral finasteride one milligram so far it's working well uh, the hair loss is being kind of maintained no additional hair loss but no like crazy improvements in thickness of my hair okay sure it's been only four months uh, I can show you also how it looks like let me just comb my hair well that's how it looks like okay luckily I got a hair transplant here on the front so Jesus so uh, when I comb my hair, uh, the, the healthy transplanted hair, it's quite thick and it just covers up a lot of my scalp. So uh, when I get more transplant on my mid scalp with the time, uh, it's going to nicely cover up also 
uh, the crown area which can start thinning potentially but I hope it will not be as bad because I'm using the topical finasteride well meanwhile I like to use the hair thickening fibers from GoFiber to make my hair look fuller on my mid scalp so if you want to try them out visit GoFiber.com get a free sample of your choice and see if you like them I'm willing to up upgrade on uh, Pinasteride oral one milligram maybe just every second day I've read studies uh, also research uh, that's been done on that kind of confirms that that even 0.5 milligram of finasteride per day has been efficacious long term this is something that I plan to do uh, let's see maybe after eight months or tenth month if I see that the topical finasteride hasn't been able to improve the thickness on my, of my crown as much as I expected I'm gonna go um, and add the oral finasteride okay so this is something you can do as well if you want to stay safe uh, to begin with and you want to have some potent DHT blocker try topical finasteride and then add oral one uh, every other day maybe after a year on be of being on topical finasteride in case you see it's not working as good it may not work for everybody okay as any other treatment as RU is not working for everybody as uh, oral finasteride may not work for everybody as you s you may expect that's why the earlier you start with this protocol with this way of you know approaching the situation the better for you the more of your hair will be saved uh, and then you can have enough time to reevaluate your situation and think about if you want to get a transplant how fast or how soon will you even need the hair transplant if the medication is really working for you without side effects you know that type of uh, thinking so that's important very important to mention here all you guys who are already taking uh, dutasteride or finasteride also topical versions of these medication please let us know in the description below or in the comment section where are you getting this from okay no matter where you are in the world and uh, possibly the cost if you can what I plan to do with that I plan to do a blog post on my website where I'm gonna basically summarize all the providers of topical and oral finasteride and dutasteride uh, worldwide focus mainly on Canada US Europe uh, so you guys can see it and maybe reach out to, to the nearest doctor uh, and get these topicals or dutasteride especially from these doctors okay so make sure you comment below and share this info with us I'm gonna really uh, appreciate that and many guys also watching this video all right guys that was it for this video basically um, now if you are somebody who is interested in a hair transplant would like to do things the right way find a good doctor who will do a natural hairline who will not over harvest the donor area then make sure you connect with me and sign up for a free consultation on mattdominance.com slash mentoring there's also the link in the description below if the link doesn't work that means I'm already booked for the next one or two weeks if the link is working you can still apply okay and then I will reach out to you and we'll talk about things only on the topic of your hair transplant and I'm gonna help you find a good doctor no matter where you are in the world it can be Europe it can be US it can be India or Australia now if you are willing to travel of course there are gonna be countries uh, which are gonna be better for you we're gonna save some money and get a decent quality like really decent quality hair transplant uh, depends really what you want what you're looking for I've been working with uh, doctors worldwide who are doing hair transplants I've seen the good doctors I've seen the bad doctors so I can differentiate between who is a good one who is a bad one so my goal is to connect you with the good doctors so you can get a good quality result okay so that's it for this video thank you so much for watching again appreciate it guys have a great year of 2020 and we'll see each other in the next video take care